don't press this button. And you probably want to press it, yeah. Exactly, uh, yeah. You can't have this, you know. Um, would that would that be negative reinforcement? Oh, which one? The button? Like like the button, for example. That's a good question, actually. It seems like it's mentally, yeah. It seems like it, it sounds like it is, you know, maybe. Mentally. Is, you know? But what are you removing, though? Yeah, you're not really, you're removing their ability to be able to press the button by saying mm. don't press the button. We do positive and negative reinforcement all the time. We don't even realize. I mean, we just do it naturally. Like we've learned things through positive. All of that's what I'm getting to. So like all of our behaviors mm -hmm. come from operant conditioning from this reinforcement and punishment. If it's paired with the food enough times, the dog will eventually, even if you take the food away, salivate to the sound of the bell. So at that point, the bell is a conditioned stimulus because you've like conditioned it into the behavior of the dog. So that's classical conditioning. And so it involves like stimuli, which is things that we perceive around us basically. Um, like maybe like the five senses experiences. Five senses, yeah. The behavior, of course. Um, unconditioned behavior, conditioned behavior. So then that evolves into operant conditioning, which you have punishment and rewards. So you have positive reinforcement or negative reinforcement. So it gets really confusing, you know? Like reinforcement means you're increasing a behavior and positive reinforcement, you're adding a stimulus to increase the behavior. But with negative reinforcement, you're taking away a stimulus to increase behavior. That sounds like a paradox, right? Like negative reinforcement, like taking away something to increase your behavior. For a kid, like if you take away their toys, you know, yeah, it kind of produces like, oh, okay, maybe I shouldn't hit my little brother, you know? Well, see, and uh, that, that's where, that's where it gets confusing because that's negative punishment. Like it's negative punishment because with punishment unlike reinforcement punishment you want to decrease behavior so like you said you want to decrease the child from hitting someone right mm. so negative punishment you take away something like the toys to stop to decrease the behavior of uh hitting the brother you know and positive oh, okay. punishment you know what positive punishment is like you uh like discipline parental discipline kind of so you're you're adding a stimulus that's unpleasant to decrease behavior that's positive punishment. Yeah. It sounds okay. pretty weird, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we got to think about like. It's because I think oh, we have a negative connotation to punishment, but. Yeah, exactly. So it sounds like positive punishment. That sounds like negative punishment. Well, it's because positive means you're adding something and negative means you're taking something away, like in this context. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So negative reinforcement, like you take away a, like a negative stimulus to increase the behavior, basically. I don't know. Like, let's say someone's trying to take a test and they can't. And you want to increase the test taking behavior and they can't take the test because there's a horrible smell in the room or something. You take away the smell stimulus to increase their behavior of taking the test. A girlfriend, you know, tells their boyfriend like, uh, you know, kind of like doesn't give him attention, but she does it like for the reason so that he he wants her more uh, kind of deal. You know, anything? so so she decreases like affection so to increase his attraction towards her right uh, would that be like um what what's it called uh like, negative reinforcement negative reinforcement taking away something to increase behavior yeah to increase a certain behavior exactly. it's like when they tell you like don't hit the wall and then they'll hit it more kind of deal you know but you, yeah. you kind of incited you know that reverse, a little bit reverse psychology. reverse engineering yeah we are reinforced to believe that the color red means stop and why? How do we get reinforced with that? Because we're taught growing up that stop signs are red, so you stop. Stop lights are red, so you stop. Green lights are green, so you go. So anytime we see green or red, we kind of associate that, you know? And that's yeah, or we associate green with like positive things and red with like negative or like negative or like warning you know, danger. Warning danger. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like you hear the sirens, you see the red lights. Yeah, because we've gotten positive reinforcers through our whole lives to believe that. Mm -hmm. Like positive reinforcement can be praise. It can be someone saying "good job" or "oh, you did really good." It's kind of interesting how it it shapes all of our behaviors. You know? Yeah, somebody tells you like, "Hey, you know, you you seem really good," and then somebody tells you, "Hey, you seem really good." And after like the tenth person, you you start realizing like, "Oh, maybe I should do something about this." Like, maybe I should, you know, become a musician. Or maybe I should sing. I, I should become a singer. Yeah. And then when you get excited when you're playing music, you're positively reinforcing your desire to play music. So you end up playing more music. Like me in filmmaking. Yeah. I got such a rush out of making like my first movie or like movies I've made. And I kept giving them 
getting positive reinforcement from other people saying, hey, that's really cool. That was positive reinforcement. Or like from posting on YouTube and getting a lot of likes or something. That's another thing, social media, like likes are positive reinforcers. Yeah. So that's why the behavior increases. People can get. And what, what about when somebody puts like a thumbs down though? I guess that they don't. Positive punishment. Then, or they, they leave a, a, a negative comment. Is that yeah. uh, negative reinforcement? That'd be like, because because reinforcement is increasing behavior. So it'd probably be a positive punishment because punishment is decreasing behavior. And positive means you're adding something to decrease behavior. So you're adding a negative comment to decrease, I don't know, whatever behavior is associated with. Yeah, to kind of push the other person to stop posting, like posting or writing. First, so positive and negative is just adding or subtracting kind of. Thing. Yeah, that makes it easier to kind of to, to, get, to wrap your hand around it. That intense rush of dopamine or the excitement that you get when you engage in something that gives you joy. And that feeling of joy and excitement and dopamine increases your behavior. So that's a positive reinforcer. So when you play guitar or I, I don't know, make a movie, I guess, and I feel good about it afterwards, or it comes together really well at the end. And I'm just like, oh, it's so cool. Mm, that's yeah. My behavior. So it increases. And the more I get reinforced, the more I'm likely to keep doing that behavior. The more I'm not reinforced, the more I'm punished, the less likely I'm going to do that behavior. You know, so yeah. I'll be criticized for like years by art.